Another new feature we've added to TrackXPC is the ability to group numerous pieces of media together. With grouping, you're literally binding segments together so that they will always move like one segment. Let's show you an example. Here I've created a DJ mix with numerous segments. They're all beat synced so that they mix seamlessly. I've decided that I don't want to use segment 3 in the mix, so I'll right click on it and select delete. I'll now insert a segment that I want to use. Once I put the segment in, I have a slight dilemma. I want to move segment 2 and segment 4, but these are already beat synced to the rest of the mix. This is where the grouping tool comes in. I can group segment 1 and segment 2 together, so that they are bound together preserving the beat syncing between the two segments. I can group segment 4 with the rest of the mix, without putting out any of the segments out of sync. You can create a group two ways. Firstly, to group segments 1 and 2 together, right click on segment 1, select Add to Group and choose Group 1. Again, with the second segment, right click on it and select Group 1. Segments 1 and 2 are now bound together in Group 1 and can be moved as one segment. You'll also notice a small icon in the bottom right hand corner, in this case a G1 graphic, notifying you that they are in Group 1. For the rest of the mix, I could click on each segment to create a second group, but I can also use the selection tool to highlight all the tracks and then right click on one of the segments, select Add to Group and choose Group 2. Now the rest of the mix is bound together and can be moved as a collective unit while still preserving the beat matching between the individual tracks. Again, this is notified by the G2 graphic for Group 2. As you can see, I can now freely move both Group 1 and 2 and beat match them perfectly with my new track while maintaining all the beat syncing in the rest of my mix. You also have the ability to add 9 groups within the audio and video mix. When segments are grouped together, deleting one segment will delete all segments within that group. Therefore, you need to remove the segment from the group before you can delete it. To do this, right click on the segment you wish to delete and select Remove from Group. You'll notice the group graphic has disappeared and you can now delete it. If you wish to remove multiple segments from groups, use the Auto Selection tool to highlight, right click and select Remove from Group. I'll now open a video mix. Again, the grouping tool is extremely useful here if you want to maintain a large collection of segments and move them freely around the mixing window, giving you the flexibility to add other clips wherever you want. Here in track 3, I have multiple edited clips, including effects that I'd like to move to another area within the mixing window. I can group together all these clips as well as the effects by using the selection tool to highlight them, right click on the segment, selecting add to group and choose group 1. These will always be banged together within the mixing window and I can move them around freely knowing they are exactly how I had edited them. In TrackXPC you are also able to lock individual or multiple segments together so that they will always stay in the same position within the mixing window. You may wish to do this if you have created a lot of edits and you do not wish to accidentally move them. To lock an individual segment, right click on it and select lock. A lock graphic will appear on the segment, indicating the segment is now locked to that position and cannot be moved. As you can see, this segment cannot be moved now. To unlock this segment, right click on it and select unlock. It is now free again to be moved anywhere. You can also lock multiple segments together. Using the auto selection tool, highlight the segments you wish to lock together Right click on the highlighted segments and select lock. Again, all these segments are now locked and cannot be moved. If you have any effects or transitions, they will also be locked and cannot be moved. To unlock multiple segments that have been previously locked, use the selection tool to highlight the area and while holding down the left button on your mouse, click and hold the right button. The selection box will now remain open on the screen and can be adjusted in length and height. 
Make sure the selection box covers all the segments that are locked and right click on the box and select Unlock All. All the segments are now unlocked.